Hello Trinity, this is Mark Rapaski, your music director, and I have a devotion for you today. And this is based on a, a, a lovely love gift that Cindy and I received just in the last few days. If you notice the mask on our Mr. Beethoven, uh, we received two of those in the mail. It turns out it came from Holly Francis, a member of our chancel choir, who, thinking of us, thought it would be nice to make these. She made them, and if you see closely enough, you'll recognize our music symbols on our on our face mask. So this comes from Joyce Meyer, and it's a sort of a Bible commentary. The topic, Keys to a Victorious Life, Real Love. And here we go. Some people think of love as a sensation, a wonderful feeling of excitement or gushy emotions that make us feel warm and cozy all over. While love can include wonderful feelings and powerful emotions, it's so much more than that. Real love is a decision to unselfishly seek the best for one another, Romans 13, 8. Real love meets needs even when sacrifice is required in order to do so. The Bible makes this point in 1 John 3, 18. Let us not love merely in theory with word or with tongue, giving lip service to compassion, but in action and in truth, in practice and in sincerity, because practical acts of love are more than words. Clearly, love moves us to take action, not just to theorize or talk. If we want to be like Jesus, we need to love others with the same kind of gracious, forgiving, generous, unconditional love he extends to us. And hymn number 581 from our hymnal, Lord, whose love through humble service has a great fourth verse that is appropriate, I think, to this topic. Call my worship to your service, forth in your dear name we go. To the child, the youth, the aged, love in living deeds to show. Hope and health, good will and comfort, counsel, aid and peace we give. That your servants in freedom may your mercy know and live. <laughs>